Welcome back to the tech sector today. I'm doing a quick video for you guys talking about mining. But before we talk about that, let's just go ahead and update what's going on with the giveaways. So I still am doing giveaway, but I'm putting the RX 570 giveaway on hold in favor for the 1050 giveaway because everybody's asking about the 1050s. So it's going to be two or three 1050s given away. And I've got a few more right here. So it's going to be two or three out of those five. Now, as far as mining goes, it's in the tank. Obviously, my rigs are not on. If you don't already know, I've got 1080 Ti's up top. Actually, one of them is taken out because it's going to that system over there. And in the middle, I've got these beautiful 1060s. And down at the bottom, I've got my 1070 Ti's. Obviously, they're not on now, but I still am keeping these systems so I can use them for future testing and mining. And who knows, they might actually come back up. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not one to say, but they've been paid for. They've paid for themselves, so I don't really see a need to get rid of them right now. Uh, about the system over here, I just want to quickly talk about this. Make sure to like, subscribe if you want to see how I built this. And if you also want to see what the final version will be, the final version will have a custom-built rack for the steering wheel. It'll house the computer. It'll house the screen, everything in one enclosure that's going to be right here and it's going to incorporate that actual car seat into the rig also so it's going to be pretty awesome by the time i'm done with it but this is my temporary setup for my little cousin to play on to be honest i really don't play on this i literally turn it on just to show you guys what it looks like this is the 1080 ti that's going to be going in there right now it's just a little 1060 so just to give him something to play on right now now let's get to the real stuff let's talk about mining and how unprofitable it is all right, guys, so here I am at my PC, and I'm just going to get some quick numbers for you guys from What to Mine. I know What to Mine is not the best place to get your numbers and all this other nonsense, but guess what? My systems are not on, so I don't really know what they would be making right now. So I'm taking the last set of numbers that they made, and I'm just plugging them into What to Mine and using this as a generic number to kind of estimate of what they would be making. So my hash rate on my system up top which is the 1080 ti system and according to what to mine it is ravencoin's most profitable coin to mine it was making 96 mega hash using just about 800 watts and according to this on the daily it'd be making 22 cents and on the monthly about six dollars 74 cents so clearly not that profitable it's not worth the hassle to me at all according to what to mine ethereum's also a very profitable for the 1060s and well ever since ethereum got popular it even before it was popular it was one of the most profitable coins to always be mining and that's why everybody hopped on it and still are on it because it's still extremely profitable and a lot of people use it to trade when buying stuff so my 1060 system did does about 144 mega hash uses about a 530 watts so on the daily that's about 38 cents and monthly that's about $11.37 so not really profitable at all and we're back on Ravencoin for the 1070 Ti system which does just about 114 mega hash and uses just about 800 ish watts I know it's less hash rate than my 1080 Ti system but keep in mind I have fewer 10 I only have three 1080 Ti's and one 1080 whereas this is um, six 1070 Ti's so it, it makes up for the difference. So on the 1070 Ti, it does about 140 mega hash, just about the same power usage though. That just goes to show you how efficient the 1070 Ti's are. And on the daily, 62 cents a profit and about $18 a month, which isn't that bad. So these are your real time numbers here. So, so it's not completely in the negatives, but you've got to also keep in mind, you've got to trade this into US dollar. And by the time you do that, you'd have a few dollars left. It's not really worth it. So that's that. That's the state of mining right now. It's just not profitable to mine. Even if you have free electricity, well, I guess, you know what, actually looking at how much you make, if you have free electricity, you could be making, with my setup, you'd be making close to like 150, close to $200. And then once you take away how much you'd, you'd have to take away after turning it into US dollars and stuff, that's not that bad. You know, it's worth the trouble. And for someone like me, I do have solar panels on my house, but it's winter. And in the winter, you don't have as many sunny days. 
So before, I loved mining because it didn't cost anything to mine. Uh, my solar panels generated more than enough more than enough electricity for me to keep my systems on and running for free. But well, now it's winter time. I can't mine as much anymore because the solar panels are making just enough electricity for the house. So it's not going to be enough to have that surplus to allow me to mine for free also. So that's it for now. Remember to like and subscribe to win this 1050. And well, actually, you know what? I'll ask you guys right now. Should I raffle off a 1080 Ti? I have them up there. They're not mining. And I feel like they're aging cards. So let me know if you guys are interested. I mean, they're still a powerhouse. Still one of the most, one of the best bang for buck cards you could buy. But I'm interested in raffling one of them off so I could earn a few dollars. And this way you guys, someone out there can earn or win a 1080 Ti for just a few dollars. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. Like I said, like, subscribe, comment on why you want this 1050 and what social platform you guys use. I'm interested on that too. And updates on the sim racing rig if you're into that kind of thing too. That's it for today. It is January 20th, 2019. I can't believe 2019 is already here. And that's my update for January. I'll see you guys next time.